uh, this is an allegation that someone was demoted because of their religious faith. And if that is true, then that needs to be taken extremely seriously. It's against the law to discriminate against someone for those reasons, and rightfully so. But I think the background to this is that you're right to say it's an unsubstantiated allegation at this stage, and one which is vehemently denied by the person accused of making it. And that does put the Tory party in a difficult position. I think they have to be seen to be taking this seriously, and that should involve very rigorous scrutiny around what went on around the decision-making with regards to Ms. Garney's uh, demotion. And I think a good starting point is to review the credibility of the claims. Now, the difficulty with that is that this, could, this is obviously a process of uh, feeding back um, and mixed messaging. You know, it's quite clear that the discussions around emotions and promotions in work can be convoluted. They can involve lots of different people's opinions seeping in. And there's, of course, the potential for breakdowns in communication to occur. So it might be that Miss Garney has a completely legitimate understanding of what happened to her, which just doesn't reflect the understanding on the other side. So I think the Tory party have to take this seriously. It's a serious allegation. But in an environment where things are often said third hand or mm. reported, you know, things are reported back in ways which might not reflect the reality of what's going on, it is going to be very difficult to reach an objective and reasoned conclusion on this. Yeah, I, I, I in no way downplay the, the seriousness of the allegation. I mean, I, I'm making the point that it is a very serious allegation, I suppose, Luke, and, and therefore that's when you need a process that's rigorous and proportionate that takes account of the potential damage uh, that, that's done here. This isn't just an institution. I mean, clearly it's institutionally damaging for the Conservative Party, for the government, but actually this has now become a personal matter. The moment uh, the whip said, actually... That we're talking about me here. And the moment that happened, uh, that became one person's word against another person's word. There, is, there, is, there doesn't seem to be, there seems to be a very large gap between his recollection and her recollection. Where's the process? How do we test the evidence? Where is the evidence? It would have to be witnesses. There are none. Or a recording. We don't think that exists. Um, he's talked about it being defamatory. I mean, he's got a point, hasn't he? I think he does have a point, and it's worth pointing out that Mark Spencer did not have to go so public so quickly in the way that he did. In some respects, it is unfortunate that Miss Garney took to Twitter to make these allegations because that makes it a public matter, and as you suggest, it makes it a personal one because, as I said, the Tory party have to take it seriously. Individuals will be identified. Mr Spencer's taken the choice to identify himself. This is now something where the stakes for both sides are absolutely enormous. Now, in the normal legal process, you would have a court consider both sides of the story. They would consider any evidence on both sides. The burden would normally fall to the person making the allegation to prove it um, to some reasonable standard. And then the courts would make a decision whether the evidence was there. Here, the process is obviously um, more complicated because there is unlikely to be evidence. Um, there's unlikely to be witnesses. And, the, and, and Ms. Garney's impression could have been completely innocent, but but perhaps didn't reflect the reality of the decision making. You know, we've heard Michael Fabrican come out this, after, uh, this afternoon and say that this was nothing to do with her faith. It was the fact that she was, frankly, a mediocre politician who didn't deserve the position she was in. And trying to decipher between or trying to distinguish between that and something more nefarious, especially where there is no evidence on either side, is going to be extremely difficult.